Welcome to 2K Sports. You're watching the NBA. Monday hoops coming up. And with tip-off just seconds away, let's head on out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll be back to bring you up to speed for the HP Halftime Report. And 2K Sports welcomes you to the NBA with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. We're glad you're aboard. Our starting lineup. So look at the matchups here, presented by our good friends at State Farm. Chris Paul is out there with Kobe. We've got Kevin Love, a terrific presence on the low block, one of the best. Then it's LeBron James, and it's Durant in at the fourth. And at the center, the big guy, Mark Gasol. He's a big part of that presence down low. And there's Rudy Fernandez, and it's Gasol and at the power forward position. The home team control the opening tip and we'll get this one started. And here's Calderon. A three ball. And that's good. Rudy Fernandez for three. You can't just get a hand up. You've got to anticipate what he's doing before he shoots. Now here's LeBron defended by Fernandez. LeBron's shot is good. Kevin, yeah, you look at Col Jose Calderon from Spain, came to the NBA as a free agent in 2005 and really gifted, an excellent ball handler, doesn't turn it over, sees the floor well, and can knock down open shots too. And Doris Burke spoke with George Carr. Doris? Guys, he said basically speed is going to be on full display today. He talked to his players before the game about getting out on the break at every opportunity possible and keeping the pressure on all game long. We'll see, guys. And thanks for that story, Doris. He's picked up by LeBron. Calderon, no good. And here is James. Clark talking about Calderon's offense, Steve. And the flip side to that is his defense. And that's where he's had some issues. I think the uh, hamstring tear that he suffered a few seasons back robbed him of a little of his quickness. And you know how, how good the point guard crop is these days in the NBA. 
That's, that's a tough matchup on a nightly basis, trying to guard the speed and quickness of this unbelievable generation of point guards. From about 19 feet, and the basket by Kobe. Kobe's got his first two points. Calderon with it. Chris Paul covering. The three is launched, and that one's good. Here's one. You look at what George Carl has overcome in his battle against cancer and other issues the last few years, and it's just a testament to how tough a person he is. So both teams making some changes here. Now Ibaka. Some good thoughts by Clark as we go back to George Carl. A lot of guys, Steve, would have called it a career, but... You know and I know all of us know he just loves this game so much. Well, it was so nice to see the support that he got from around uh, the league as he battled cancer. Did such a great job with that team during the Carmelo drama, as they called it. It was uh, really a, a very taxing year for George Carl, but he battled through it and ended up putting Denver in a really good spot heading into the postseason. Here's Paul. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. That's what I do. Make sure you get a couple of shots here to close this quarter. Good look. And he didn't quite get enough under that one. Shots good. Defensively, you have to get a body on somebody every time down the floor. Gasol against Chandler. Gasol no good. Now here's Paul. It's picked off. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. Aggressive transition game leads to the easy hoop. Yeah, I love to see these guys just trampolining to the hoop. Durant gets the bucket from 20 feet away. You know, to have somebody as dependable as he is on the offensive end, that's extremely invaluable to this team. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. The home team, they lead by a bucket. It was pretty impressive the way they moved the ball, made the extra pass, and found open shooters that whole court. Yeah, it's been a complete team effort out there. Um, great to watch. And it's more NBA action coming your way here on 2K Sports. Off we go, a close game, now starting the second quarter. Here's Williams. Now here's Anthony. There's the triple. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. for three rebound love how about the season Kevin Love had a year ago he put up numbers that we haven't seen in a long time had a 30-30 game uh, huge rebound totals and it just continued all season long and let's now go to the sideline we'll catch up here with Doris Burke Doris you guys Kobe Bryant becomes the youngest player in NBA history to score 27,000 points edging out Will Chamberlain and one of just a list of NBA records to his name. But asked about the records, he said, I don't know about them until they come up. When I'm older, and I'm like 70 years old or something like that, maybe then I'll get a little more sentimental. But right now, I just want to win. Guys, if you think Kobe Bryant is done with that, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, championship mentality, Doris. Good point. Thanks. Going back to Kevin Love and his numbers, Clark. I mean... <laughs> They were Russell-like, Chamberlain-like. I mean, they had such great volume in these categories. Kevin, mind-boggling. I mean, you rarely see numbers in the high 20s and 30s as far as glass eating goes. I mean, and this guy doesn't really wow you with his athleticism. No. He's strong, he's tenacious, excellent hands and timing, but still, 
that number of rebounds. There's guys that couldn't get that many rebounds by themselves in practice. In the gym, by themselves couldn't get 30 rebounds. Let alone in a game. Come on, man. Rodriguez, he's guarded by Williams. And stolen by Love. You can't get too loose with the ball down on the low post. Too easy to steal it. The three from Anthony. And it's Gasol with the rebound. They play the clock right, Steve. They can go two for one. Yeah, just have to time it right. Make sure you work the clock correctly. You get two possessions out of this. Lowell guarded by Harden. Shot clock at six. Lowell. Ibaka gets whistled for a loose ball foul. That is his first foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Williams. There's the feed to Kobe. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. They get Marcus Gasol. Shooting for Denver. Kobe Bryant. Two shots. First free throw is good. Kobe drops them both. Here is Calderon. 20 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. He's guarded by Williams to stop the run. And that one's good. Yeah, he's so good from that mid-range area. So far in the game for Anthony, he's got five points, and he's been able to hit the three ball, picking up one from deep so far. Well, the three-point shot has become so important in today's NBA game, and uh, teams are shooting more and more of them. When you can knock them down, it really puts pressure on that defense. More great action when we return. Hello and happy Monday to you. Here's your HP Halftime Report some good basketball for the away team. They played gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. And for the home club, it's been all hustle. They continue to dice up teams with passing fluid play. It's beautiful team basketball. A good start for Jose Calderon. He's chipped in four points and has set his teammates up with a few timely assists. These two leading their teams in scoring, and it hasn't exactly been a shootout as the numbers indicate. That's all for us here in the studio. Let's get back out to Kevin and the crew. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Here's Kobe. Puts it up. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Kobe's got six. And Kobe Bryant, along with Carmelo Anthony, I think are the two most complete scorers in this league. They can find a way to get the ball in the basket from so many different ways. And here is LeBron. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, I think we can put to rest once and for all the idea that somehow Dirk Nowitzki is soft or that the Dallas Mavericks are soft. It's a label that had been spread to the whole team, and they are glad to put it behind them. Jason Terry said of Dirk Nowitzki, Dirk has huge resolve. 
Regardless of what people say about him, he's going to come to the gym every day and prepare the same way. He's been doing it for so long, and he still doesn't get the credit that he deserves. A championship will help get that credit rolling, guys. Thanks, Doris. Yeah, make no mistake about it. I mean, Dirk was never a pushover. I think that was an unfair label. Uh, but what winning the title did was it shed that label uh, forever. And, and it kind of put his stamp on the history of his impact on the NBA. Just an amazing story, Dirk Nowitzki, last year. It's Gasol missing. Paul with the ball. Here's Love. Good, and Paul gets the assist. You know, a recipe for disaster, Kevin, is letting him get that free near the basket. The home team will take their first timeout. You got to keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. You know, folks can debate who the best point guard is in the league forever. I mean, but no matter which way you slice it, Paul is on the short roll call list. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Paul Gasol. Here is Ibaka looking for his first bucket of the game. Outside Gasol. The three, rebounded by Anthony. Clark, you mentioned Paul, and he and Jaron Williams, I think, will always, you know, be compared head-to-head -head because of where they were taken. Mm -hmm. Steve, I know you've done your own personal analysis of those two guys, and and uh, one maybe one game, one the other game. They're, 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 they're always going to be very close, I think, though, in so many ways. Well, I'd take either one of them to lead my team, but if I had my choice, I think I would still go with Darren Williams. Even though Paul has probably gotten more publicity over the years, uh, Williams is bigger and stronger, which I like defensively, and I think he's a better shooter as well. They need this. Calderon, that's good. Calderon's got six. Here comes Carmelo Anthony. He's got five. Outside, Kobe. From downtown, and that one's good. He's got nine. Boy, this is scary. You get a score rolling like this, you're in some trouble. Yeah, you can't leave a guy like that on an island. I mean, you got to bring some help. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Navarro, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Coming back with a three of their own. I like that. Good response. Yeah, I agree with you. See, this is a team that will not back down. I mean, I'm not surprised to see them answer that way. No good from Durant. And here comes Calderon. Navarro. The shot's good on the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got five assists in the game. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. Here. Well, we know he can score, so it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers. And I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the fourth. The So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark. Doris, take it away. Kevin, for the job this road team has done, they get our Sprite Spark Award. Things started opening up for them in the third quarter as they exerted their will onto this game, and they are in complete control as the game now heads into the fourth and final period, guys. Thank you, Doris. They made a statement with that big run club. Is there that? I mean, actually, this team has what I like to call Spurtability. <laughs> Clark, that's becoming one of our trademarks right now. Without there. question. We're all over it. One of the great basketball words out there. <laughs> and Clark, I think the defense was sort of shell-shocked by that spurtability. They were real. Here's Jim. Outside Anthony. Here's the three. Gets it to go. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. 
Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. The offensive rebound. LeBron against Ibaka. Gasol. Here's Rodriguez. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And where's the defense? I mean, this has been pathetic at both ends. Yeah, it has been pathetic defensively, but it's been exciting from an offensive standpoint. But if you like defense, then neither one of these teams deserves a win. Chandler kicks to Paul. Here's Davis. And the rejection by Ibaka. Pushing it up. Now Anthony defending. Move covered by Anthony. And that one's good. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Here's LeBron. Three-pointer. That's good. Boy, these threes are picking them apart. I mean, four out of the last five shots against them, all uncontested, and all of our threes. Yeah, the defense just looks uninterested right now. I mean, they're not making the effort to challenge these shots. The home team take a 20-second timeout. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle said to his team. He told them, hey, they're running the break on us, so let's give them a taste of their own medicine. Let's run them ragged. The tempo should be up, guys, and this could get interesting. Thanks again, Doris. One thirty left here in the fourth quarter. Took him no time at all on that one. Let him little room service down with that dish. Now here's Westbrook. Defense right on him. Gets it to go. And the shootout continues. Trading buckets both ways. I mean, offense definitely the focal point for these teams. Gasol backing down. Fires it up. Connects from 13 feet out. Kevin, that's what you expect from him. When the pressure's at its highest, with the game on the line, that's when he's at his best. The away team call for a 20-second timeout. Several teams changing it up here. Here's LeBron. Left side Durant. From outside the arc. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Eight points for Kevin Durant. Now they are hitting everything they're throwing up. Look at all these threes. I like the fact, Steve, they're trying to knock them out here. They're trying to hit them with a haymaker. The killer instinct, they're trying to put them out of their misery early. Less than one minute left. Let's it go with a three. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. Yeah, not enough defensive coverage there to prevent him from firing that time. But, uh, yeah, I think if he's open, he's got to let that thing fly. Oh, yes, the turnaround. They're looking good here, adding to this lead. Yeah, you know, time winding down here, the score and the clock clearly in their favor. Navarro covered by Anthony. Anthony with the defensive effort. I think he caught a glimpse of the defender out of the corner of his eye because he just seemed to lose his focus there for a moment. Paul with the three. He's off from three. Navarro. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports.
And now we present the Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. Welcome to 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for a little NBA basketball. Monday hoops coming up. And that's all for now. Time to hand it over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll be back with more at halftime. Thanks for joining us as we bring you this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports along with Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan. A quick check of our starting lineups. State Farm shows who will hit the floor first. Chauncey Billups out there with Derrick Rose. We've got Odom. He is such an asset to this team. They love what he brings every night. And it's Durant. And it's Iguodala in at the four. Kobe is out there with Darren Williams. And it's Dwight Howard locking down the middle. Always can be counted on a looming presence and a force both offensively and defensively. Then there's Dwayne Wade, and it's Red in at the power forward position. The away team take the tip off and will set up the offense. Iguodala against Red. Goes up. Now here's Williams. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. What a shot. Gets it to go through the contact. Boy, I love that. That's a great shot. That's how you finish in the NBA. And free throw good from Wade. When you think of elite shooting guards in the NBA... Kobe Bryant is the number one name that comes to mind. But Dwayne Wade is really close to being his equal. Iguodala. No good on the triple. Here's Wade. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke who's across the way on the sideline. I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. He wanted to emphasize to his team that they can't wait back and expect chances to come to them. 
If they want to put points on the board, they'll have to create chances by being aggressive and executing their sets with speed and authority. Sounds like a plan, Kevin. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. What approach to use against the opposing D, I guess, in the front of their minds, it sounds like, Clark. Yeah, well, it's a tall task when you take on a team as sound defensively as they are, so you just have to be sharp in your execution. Steve? Yeah, yeah you got to be sharp, but you also have to attack. I mean, if you're not aggressive against this team, they're going to take control of you, and all of a sudden, uh, they'll have control of the game. Iguodala outside. Kobe against Rose. Phillips from outside. It's hauled in by Dwayne Wayne. There's 126 left to play in the first quarter. Kobe, that's for two. No one on him, and he makes the easy one. Boy, he just seems to score so easily. The game comes very simply to him. Coach is liking Clark what he's seeing from his offense. And two, why wouldn't he? I mean, guys, they're filling it up with ease, executing, getting quality shots. I mean, this is fun to watch. Yeah, this is like a clinic out there, guys. This is exactly how you attack a defense. Move the ball, sharp cuts, a really a nice pace to their offense. Pulls from the top of the key. Andre Iguodala comes up with the rebound. Phillips against Kobe. And yes, sir, that one drops. Phillips has got his second bucket of the game to go. And here is Red. Takes it right up. And again, Kobe Bryant. Here's Phillips. It's a five-point game. Here's Iguodala. The basket good off the assist from Phillips. Iguodala's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Kobe. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Kevin Durant. His second versus second two. At the line of the score, Kobe Bryant taking two shots. The free throw drops for Kobe. So both teams changing it up here. So one for two that time at the strike. Here comes Derek Rose. Guarded by Kobe. Kobe against Rose. Clanks it in off the back of the rim. Here's Kobe. With one on the clock. The shot no good. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. The home team, they lead by one. Well, the thing they tried to establish right away was the presence down low. You look at the points in the paint. I think that's been the difference. Yeah, and I like the fact, Steve, that they're not settling for the outside shots. I mean, go in there and get what you want. Keep attacking the rim. More great action when we return. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. Here's Paul. Here's Kobe. LeBron James on the wing. Gabe picks him up defensively. And it's LeBron James with the three. LeBron's now got himself on the board with three there. Well, last year in the playoffs, LeBron was up to his usual trick. He felt good about not having to carry the same load as he always had to, though, and that relieved him a bit and made him better in my mind. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burt. Doris, what do you have? Gentlemen, Kevin Durant is definitely a gym rat, one of those guys who gets in early and goes home late. But the outside of that, he describes himself as a homebody. I just relax, chill out, and play video games. I literally go to practice, come home, and sit in the same spot all day. I like it. It keeps me out of trouble and keeps me focused on what I need to do. 
And guys, when you work as hard as he does, you can see why a little R&R &R is just what the doctor ordered. You know, you hear it all the time, Doris, lead by example. He's a hard act to follow with his work ethic. Well, back to LeBron. You know, Clark, he didn't have to carry the load like he did up in Cleveland, but he still had some big-time shots for the Heat. And Steve, not necessarily in the regular season, but really in the postseason. That's where he stepped up big time. Yeah, particularly in the first three rounds. In the finals, remember, he kind of took a step backwards. But in that Chicago series, he made some enormous shots in that series. Uh, he was so good offensively. And all of a sudden against Dallas, it was like he lost his confidence. So he's he's still a little bit of a work in progress in terms of putting it all together. Great positioning on the putback. On the wing, Kobe. Defended by Gordon. That drops. Nine points for Kobe Bryant. And I think defensively, you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's got a handful. The away team take a 20-second timeout. How about the season Kevin Love had a year ago? He put up numbers that we haven't seen in a long time. Had a 30-30 game, a huge rebound totals, and it just continued all season long. Both teams deciding to change it up. One twelve left here in the second. Going back to Kevin Love and his numbers, Clark. I mean, I mean, they were Russell-like, Chamberlain-like. I mean, they had such great volume in these categories. Kevin, mind-boggling. I mean, you rarely see numbers in the high 20s and 30s as far as glass eating goes. I mean, and this guy doesn't really wow you with his athleticism. No. He's strong. He's tenacious. Excellent hands and timing. But still, that number of rebounds. There's guys that couldn't get that many rebounds by themselves in practice. <laughs> in the gym, by themselves, couldn't get 30 rebounds. Let alone in a game. Come on, man. <laughs> Here's a good out. Outside Odom. Passes to Durant. Kicks it out to Igud out. For the three. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Gordon missing. Well, neither team has really gained an edge rebounding wise here, and the score reflects that. Well, if one team can start hitting the boards harder, I mean, it, it'll give them a good chance to pull away. Now, running a little bit of time off, looks like they're going to play for the final shot. Steve, you're right. If nothing presents itself, hold for one. Deflected. Howard with the steal. Smooth defense there. He made it look like the pass was intended for him. And we've reached halftime in this one. The home team up six. Leave it to the NBA to keep Mondays from getting you down. Hello, everybody. I'm Damon Bruce. This is your HP Halftime Report. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. They're making it look effortless offensively, scoring at will. Dwight Howard playing with confidence. He's chipped in four points, also pulled down four rebounds. And slugging it out so far are the visitors. They made a point of working the ball around. Great offensive teamwork. Eric Gordon's been doing his thing. His shooting percentage hovering right around 50%. It's awfully good. Heads and tails. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Here's Kobe. Three-pointer. And it's Wade with the jam. Wade's got seven points. The lift they've gotten from him today has been huge. I mean, he's been steady offensively and has helped them get out in front here so far. Here is Rose. And the way you want to guard Dwayne Wade is make him a shooter. Even though he can knock down shots from there, you've got to just hope that he misses because if he gets to the rim, it's pretty much automatic. Phillips dishes to Durant. And yes, a nice assist from Phillips. Guys, you're not going to get away with that kind of defense when he's got the ball. I mean, you've got to do better than that. 
Going back to guarding, defending Dwayne Wade, there really is no way to win against him as a defender. He's going to find a way to hurt you. It might may take some time, but he's going to get you. You know, going back to what Steve said, you got to make it tough for him and hope he misses some of the shots and then try to keep him out of transition as best you can. And uh, hope he has a bit of an off night. Otherwise, he's dropping buckets on you now. That's a given. <laughs> Phillips, no good. He should have knocked that one down, and he'll be the first one to tell you that. The dish doing it out. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. The away team will take a timeout here. You know, you look at Dwight Howard, Kevin, the defensive player of the year, the last three years straight, a five-time All-Star in seven seasons. I think he's the most dominant big man in the game, no doubt. Well, when you look at Dwight Howard's athleticism for a player his size, Clark, you're right. A former slam dunk champ, jump out of the gym. Steve, is he the most athletic center the league has ever seen? He might be. I mean, you got to throw Shaq in there. Shaq was actually bigger and stronger during his prime uh, and could really run the floor. But in terms of leaping ability, yeah, I don't remember anybody uh, who could jump as high as Dwight Howard. Kevin Love's checked in for Andre Iguodala. A minute 42 left in the third. Tipped. That's such a tough catch when the ball is coming from that far away. Even numbers. Four on four. Good luck. Wade gets the bucket. Wade's got four points in the quarter. Here's Rose. Duran up top. Three-pointer. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got six rebounds in the game. Outside Durant. Here's Billups. A three ball. The shot by Odom, no good. You know, not really a significant margin in terms of them rebounding, but enough to get the job done. Yeah, I mean, it's helping them get the lead. And if they can continue to rebound like this, I think they're going to be in pretty good shape. Billups against LeBron. LeBron against Billups. He's picked up by LeBron. A look from Rose. The basket good off the assist from Billups. Billups has got three assists in the game. Here's Kobe. Good. Kobe's got 11 points. They're just getting better offensively as the game goes along, making good choices and getting high percentage shots. And they're playing hard and playing smart too, Steve. Uh, they've just been very, very good. They're moving the ball. Durant for three. Dwight Howard grabs the board. And here comes Kobe. It's a 10-point game. Jumps up. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's good defense. Don't let a guy get a lay-in. Foul hard and send him to the free throw line. Yeah, I like that billboard there. Sending a message. You can't come in here and get anything free in our paint. First free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. Second free throw, no good. Chandler with the ball. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. A look from Durant. That doesn't go either for Durant. Here's Kobe. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. And we'll return momentarily. As 
the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark report. Doris? Hey, guys, our Sprite Spark in this game, LeBron James. Right now, he's been the difference maker in this game, and he's done so from off the bench. Fantastic effort from him so far, guys. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thank you. What a game it's been for him up to this point, Clark. Kevin, he has been absolutely outstanding. I mean, we may not have been expecting him to play this kind of role, but he certainly has put his impact on this game. Yeah, he sure has, Clark. A huge factor off the bench. Now Gordon. He's picked up by LeBron. Gordon kicks to West. Down to five on the shot clock. A look from Gordon. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Eight points for Eric Gordon. You look at how they've been scoring the basketball, and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assist. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team when they make that extra pass. When they get in trouble, it's when they're taking quick shots. Back to Durant. And Bosch picks him up defensively. Fires for three. Again, the miss by Gordon. Oh, well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. Teams making some changes here. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, Kevin. Dwayne Casey was just going over the plan with his team. He said, we didn't come this far to back down now. This is when we have to battle the hardest. Summon every ounce of energy you have and play your best basketball. Let's see how it works, guys. Puts it up. Off the inbound. Westbrook can't get it to go. They can take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, gives themselves a little break, too. Gets the run. Yeah. 11-point game. Now here's Gordon. Granger for the three. That one goes. Count it. They're down right now, trying to stay in the game with the three ball. They've shot a lot more here in the second half than they did in the first half. And I'm not sure I agree with that strategy. And here's Gordon. Here's Westbrook. Another miss by Westbrook. Well, I tell you what, really a good job to get open and then just kind of box the release. And it's blocked. He's guarded by Williams. Westbrook with it. Williams picks him up. Six to shoot. Back to Westbrook. A three. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. That's a shot you've got to take if you're looking for the three-pointer. I mean, the defense was nowhere around. Howard's shot is good. Looks like it's over. Double-digit margin. Clock running down. Just take care of the ball now. Yep, it's a simple equation. This one's over. Use the clock and take care of the arm. Gordon kicks to Gay. Red with the steal. Boy, that was a great steal. Prevented what may have been an easy hoop. Gets it to go. That's a dagger. That will probably finish this game. Yeah, it's over, Steve. Convincing closeout. Both teams making substitutions here. Here's Rose. The feed to Westbrook. Defended by Paul. And taken away by Paul. Great hands down low. Gets the takeaway. And LeBron James gets it to go. 
And that should do it. This is an insurmountable lead. Yep, there's too little time left, too big a deficit to overcome. This one's over. Here's Kobe. Let's it go with a three. And the miss. And so they get the victory here at home. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Dwight Howard. Welcome to NBA Basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. We've got you covered here on 2K Sports. Monday hoops coming up. And without any further... A little something to brighten your Monday morning. And good Monday morning to all of you. It's time for the NBA on 2K Sports. Here's out there with Jermaine O'Neal. Then it's Andre Miller. Then there's Wallace and Finley. Wallace is out there with Jermaine O'Neal. Then it's Pierce. Then it's Andre Miller and Finley. The away team take the tip off and will set up the offense. 
Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Odom out there with Marion. And it's Duncan and Iverson. Now here's Pierce from about 16, and he hits the jump shot. And they get on the board first. Looking to set the tone early. Here's Marbury. Off target from three-point range. And here's Miller. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. He wanted to emphasize to his team that they can't wait back and expect chances to come to them. If they want to put points on the board, they'll have to create chances by being aggressive and executing their sets with speed and authority. Sounds like a plan, Kevin. Terrific, Doris. Thanks. They put a lot of thought into how they're going to match up against the opposing defense, guys. Well, one of the things you got to do here, Kevin, I mean... And Steve, you can't afford empty possessions against this team. You've got to put the ball in the basket. Yeah, that's for sure, Clark. You've got to make them count because you know you're not going to get a lot of open looks. So make sure you make the defense move, uh, move the ball, try to get good looks, and make them pay. How about the body control, guys? He goes up strong, doesn't he? Now Odom. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it, giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they're playing with so much energy offensively, the ball is really moving. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, don't give up anything for free. I like that. Send him to the line. Yeah, don't. they don't want to sit back and watch you lay it in. I mean, make them earn it. Make them earn it. Don't give up anything easy. And that one misses. So both teams changing it up here. That's off as well. So he misses both. Brand with it. Here's Finley. And he short rims that one. Here's Jefferson. Fires for three, and that one's good. Iverson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here comes Paul Pierce. With one on the clock, and he beat the buzzer, but it's no good. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The away team leading by just one. The defense was really impressive there. And off we go, a close game. Now starting the second quarter. Here's Boozer. Elton Brand is out there with Davis. And there's Davis, then there's Marion, and Finley. Welcome to NBA Basketball. This is 2K Sports bringing it to you live. Monday hoops coming up. And now let's turn it over to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke at the arena. I'll have more for you at halftime. So glad you can join us for this presentation of 2K Sports in the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan joining me, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg. They've got Miller. Shaquille O'Neal is out there with Johnson. Then there's Dominique Wilkins, and it's Price in at the point. Dominique Wilkins out there with Johnson. Then there's Price. Then it's Miller, and it's Shaq in at the five down low.
The away team control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. Barkley is out there with Robinson. And it's Michael Jordan. Then it's Magic Johnson. And it's Bird in at the three slot. Shaq can't get it to go. I tell you, the D was really lax there. I mean, they know he really struggles from that range. Well, it was an interesting marriage between Shaq and the Celtics a season ago. At times, he played brilliantly, and he fit perfectly into the scheme for Boston. Uh, but, of course, at this age, he was also beset by injuries frequently as well. Price against Johnson. Leans inside, and there's the whistle. Fouls hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And we talked about Shaq in Boston. He wasn't on the floor as much as he would have liked. They were good when he played. Their record was terrific. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing he did do, though, is he's done at all of his stops. He really connected with the city of Boston. Well, he's as personable a guy as you would ever see. I mean, he's uh, got a real neat way about him that connects with fans across all demographics. I mean, that's who Shaq is. He's larger than life, but he's got a personality as, about as big. Mm hmm and that one goes in two from the line that time here's Johnson all right let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach he said he knows he's facing an offense that can pick you apart if you sit back and let them do what they want he told me quote on the ball pressure is key if we can get up in their face after they cross the timeline we'll be able to disrupt their rhythm Let's see if they're successful, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. So keeping the opposing shooters and check guys, uh, they're making that a very high priority right now. Easier said than done, though. I mean, they've got a lot of sharpshooters and guys that can fill it up. Yeah, the big thing is you want to challenge every shot. I mean, you just can't give these guys airspace because they'll make you pay. Kevin, his scoring ability is valuable, really valuable. I mean, he's a guy you can rely on to knock down shots. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Miller taking two shots. First one falls for him. So both teams changing it up here. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Barkley. Johnson outside. From 20 feet out, Kemp with the rebound. I tell you what, despite the miss, he shouldn't hesitate to take those kinds of looks when he gets them. That's a good shot. Funny shot. No good from Price. Now Johnson. Outside Pippen. This one for three. And that one's good. <laughs> Pippen's got himself on the board with three there. He recognized there a good job by him that he could find some room behind that three-point line on the break. Now, here is Miller. Back to Kim. Good ball movement. Lock at six. And here's Price. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Five points in the game. Let's go. And it's Johnson again missing. Five points in the game. Price kicks to Shaq. Patrick Ewing covering. Shaq's shot is good. Now here's Pippen. Pulls up on the wing. The shot by Jordan, no good. That's a good shot, high percentage. Can't complain about that one. Here's Price. Another shot. Good. That builds a little momentum going into the next quarter. Yeah, you know, you definitely have to make sure you take advantage of that last possession. You don't want to squander that. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. The away team up by six.
And this team has done a nice job on the glass. I think that's how they've built this lead. They've been very physical, really established a presence in the paint. Well, they've chased down those balls. As soon as they've hit the iron, they've been chasing them down. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Here is Stockton. They've got Joe Dumars. Dominique Wilkins out there with Johnson. Then there's Morning, and it's Miller in at the two guard. That is good. Stockton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. They've got Malone. Michael Jordan is out there with John Stockton. Then there's Pippen. And it's Robinson in at the five, roaming the paint. Miller against Stockton. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That's on David Robinson. Great awareness by fouling on that layup. Make him earn two points. Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer. I mean, send him to the line instead of giving up an easy two. That free throw good for Miller. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Malone with it. Robinson dishes to Jordan. And it's Miller picking him up. Jordan can't get it to go. Well contested shot there. And that's the key defensively. You've got to make him work for a challenge every shot. Wilkins, no good. Well, that's not really what typically happens for someone with his touch around the rim. That's a surprise. Goes up with a stripe. It goes down off the front of the rim. I'll tell you what, he's made more than a few of those in his career. Here's Dumars. Looking for his first bucket of the game. The away team will take their first timeout. You got to keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. So both teams making some changes here. Malone with the steal. And look at how quickly he got his hands in the way of that pass. And there's the rejection. Now Johnson. Unload from nine. Robinson pulls it in. And here comes Johnson. They trail by three. It's stolen by Johnson. Johnson can't hit. That was a layup. And you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Stolen by Marley. So a couple of poor possessions now in a row consecutively. Both times turnover. That's not productive basketball. That's not winning basketball. No, and Clark, you know, you start stringing errors back to back together, you lose all momentum in this game. A nice shot by Bird. Boy, he set him up beautifully with that assist. Room service style. And here is Johnson. There's the dish to Wilkins. Bird cover. Johnson, the pass to Wilkins. Back to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And I think whichever team starts to dominate the glass could really take control of this game. I won't disagree with you. I mean, it's so tight between these teams right now on the board that um, you're just waiting to see which team might pull away. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And it's Johnson picking him up. Johnson kicks to Marley. Here's the three. And David Robinson pulls it down. 
Now here's Johnson. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Drexel. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Elkins with the ball. To stop the run. And he drops that one in. Shaq's got eight points. I think their only hope now, Clark, is to slow him down with a double team. Well, they got to stop the bleeding, put the tourniquet on, and it's, he's been tough to play straight up. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. Leave it to the NBA to keep Mondays from getting you down. Hello, everybody. I'm Damon Bruce. This is your HP Halftime Report. Plenty of hustle from the home team. Their second unit making its impact felt offensively. They've come in ready to roll and getting it done early, the Admiral. They've gotten a great boost from Larry Bird also. On the other side, the visitors looking pretty solid as well. They've made a point of working themselves to the charity stripe and knocking down their free throws. They've gotten some great minutes out of Shaquille O'Neal. He has eight points, very few misses, a real nice shooting percentage from the floor. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Here's Johnson looking for his first bucket of the game. We've got Shaquille O'Neal. Price is out there with Miller. Then it's Johnson. Now it's Wilkins in at the three spot. Didn't matter that he was surrounded. He was the guy who muscled everybody else out of the way to get that board. Barkley is out there with Bird. Then it's Robinson. Then it's Michael Jordan. And it's Johnson in at the point. Fantastic assist. Tremendous. I mean, you got to love that kind of passion. Beautiful. Knocks down the three ball. Johnson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Price kicks to Miller. Back to Price. Price, right side. He feeds it to O'Neal. Over Jordan. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. From down in the low post, it goes. How about the body control, guys? He goes up strong, doesn't he? The away team call time. Well, all these missed shots is a definite concern. I like this timeout. I really do. Settle everybody down and try to refocus them on the game plan and execution. Both teams deciding to change it up. There's 1.54 left in the third quarter of the game. Back to Kemp. Puts it up. And Ewing sends it back. Here's Bird. Here is Stockton. Outside Jordan. There's the three. Jordan with another miss. Yeah, he's struggled with his shot this quarter. And he's got to find a groove somehow. Good. Miller's got six points. He has so much offensive imagination. Always seems like he's ready to try something new. Bird outside. Takes the three. And Dumars pulls it down. Now Price. He has five. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. It's been tough for them to try to slow down Shaq. Ten points, and he's blocked one shot, helping out on defense there. Well, he was a good bit of help he provided to get that block. You love to see when your teammates are covering up for you defensively. Gives you a lot of confidence in your unit as a, as a, as a whole. And here's Ewing. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. From 11 feet away, it's blocked, and they get it back. And Jordan gets it to go. It's a tie ball game. 
You know, he's the one guy you have to absolutely be aware of and box out. Stacked it against Price. Outside Dumas. Miller against Burke. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Johnson. Six to shoot to the inside. And he banks in the layup. Attacking the paint again and again. You know, they're getting whatever they want. I mean, eight straight points coming inside. Shoots from 12, and the jumper is on the mark. Johnson's got five now. Slowing it down here, smart. Play for the last shot of the quarter. Yeah, I like that. I mean, dribble it down to six seconds or so and then go. That way you got a chance for a second shot if you miss. Johnson is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. And Johnson drops them both. Yeah, offensively, it seems like they've just settled for long jump shots in the second half. Yeah, I agree. You know, points in the paint and free throw attempts down, what does that mean? They're probably not attacking as much as they did early. And the basket by Johnson. Boy, a nice pick there, guys. I mean, gave him the space he needed for the hoop. Here's Miller. One second left. No good on the buzzer beater. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. Check out the game for Johnson. Seven points, and you can add one three-pointer to a stat line also. Well, you have to like a little bit of, of everything in the box score for him right now. He's really had a solid game. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark. Doris, take it away. Kevin, the spark in this game came from the home team. Their advantage was built through their defense, namely that great second quarter when nothing got by them. They parlayed that great run into the lead they now have. Can they keep it? We'll see. All right, Doris, thank you. That run was a critical stretch, Clark, of the game. It sure was. I mean, once the pilot light was lit, they didn't let up. <laughs> well, offensively, it all came together for them, Clark, and it really allowed them to kind of take control of the game at that point. They've got Marley. Smith is out there with Johnson. Then there's Morning. Here's Marley. Sinks the triple. You can tell they're much more comfortable here. They look at ease. It seems like it took them the entire half before they finally shook the cobweb. He came out sluggish and didn't shoot it well in the first half at all. Took him no time at all on that one. And they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Morning backing down. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That one on Malone. That free throw good for Morning. Are you kidding me? They're like different guys this half. They haven't missed a single free throw. Stepping up and knocking him down, Clark. Both shots good from the strike. He's just so clutch. Here's a guy you want on your side with the game on the line, Kevin. He gathers. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Alonzo Morning. I'm amazed he still was able to get that shot to go despite the contact. Boy, Steve, I love the body control that you saw there. I mean, able to follow through as he was being hit.
And that one falls for Barkley. Here's Johnson. Picked up by Stockton. Here's Morning. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. Now, a second chance sometimes make a huge difference in a game like this. right now. Doris? I was able to listen in on the head coach talking to his team. He gave his guys the green light to keep firing from downtown, telling them, listen, I like the work you're doing out there. Keep finding those gaps on the perimeter. They're giving us open shots. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Holland for three. Camps with the rebound. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. Well, true. The defenders shouldn't relax just because he missed that one. He's capable of getting hot in a hurry. Had to do in cover. And it's Kemp with the jam. And look at how he hung on the basket after that dunk. A little extra flair there. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't get slapped with a technical foul there, Clark. Here's Johnson. Drexler outside. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Marlon. Drexler against Price. Kemp can't hit. That would have been a nice alley oop there. Well, you gotta love the effort though. Almost showtime. Ewing goes up and lays it nice and easy. As if there was any question, Kev. He's just not phased by the pressure. He stays focused and always makes big plays. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Price. He's guarded by Johnson. Tipped. And now they need a stop if they want to hang on to this lead. That was a bad giveaway there. From downtown. Cannot hit. Wow, what a board. The little guy somehow coming up with the ball. The pull up. Jordan knocks it away. Guarded by Price. Jordan. It falls. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. There's 38 seconds left in the game. Now Price. Back to Dumars. He's picked up by Jordan. For three. Cans the three. And that had to feel good. Yeah, he exhaled as that one went down. Guys, your thoughts? Well, they've got two options here. They can go for the three and the tie or the quick two and the foul. I like the idea of going for the quick two. Take it to the rim, and um, that wouldn't be a bad way to, to approach this situation. Here's Barkley. Passes it to Johnson. Barkley. Pippen. Who's guarded by Marley. Three-pointer. Good! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And they answer right back with that three. It's a good old shootout. The fans are enjoying this show. Price, right side.
put that lead pass in perfect position for his teammate. Thanks for joining us. Get ready for the NBA here on 2K Sports. Monday hoops coming up. And now let's turn it over to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke at the arena. I'll have more for you at halftime. The NBA on 2K Sports. That is the place you want to be. And we're happy to have you with us on our broadcast today. They've got Jason Kidd, Garnett out there with Carter, then it's Allen, and it's Morning in at the center, filling out the middle. They've got Carter, Jason Kidd is out there with Allen, then there's Morning, and it's Garnett in at the power forward. The away team take the tip off and will set up the offense. Miller is out there with Gary Payton. And it's Hill. Then it's Barkley. And it's Shaq in at the center. Morning backing down. Shoots it. Off target with the jump hook. Now Payton tipped. And you're asking a lot out of your teammate to try to handle that pass. I don't like that decision at all. Garnett dishes to Allen. Gets it to go. Good things happen when he's working like that, fellas. Here's Peyton. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. I briefly spoke with the home team's head coach. He'd like them to concentrate defensively on slowing the game down. There's simply too much speed in their opponent, and to get into a run-and-gun type of game is not to their advantage, guys. And thank you for that, Doris. No good on that one. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Now here is Carter. I love Kevin Garnett. He's kind of an old school player. He doesn't hug players before or after the game. In fact, a lot of people think he's sort of disrespectful. But he just wants to win. He is a nasty competitor. And the basket by Kidd. And he shows us he knows how to finish with a flourish. Hill kicks to Miller. 
lets the three fly. That is good. You talk about Kevin Garnett, and you just talked about his demeanor on the floor. One thing's for certain, KG's between those lines. The last thing he's thinking about is, is making friends. Yeah, he's got plenty of bark and bite to him, and some people are a little put off by it, but he's been that way pretty much his whole career. I don't see it changing. It served him too well. Coming back with a three of their own. I like that. Good response. Yeah, I agree with you, See, This is a team that will not back down. I mean, I'm not surprised to see them answer that way. Goes up. Rips down the breakaway slam. Well, that's great. You take advantage of that turnover and convert at the other end. Absolutely. I mean, points off turnovers this time generated off the steal. Now here's Peyton. a little careless just not in sync out of rhythm yeah it's still early but with three turnovers already it's time to buckle down Allen shot is off they can go two for one yeah they need to play it smart make sure you get a good shot first and then maybe a second possession goes up on the high post that's good Miller's got five points so far there's 31 seconds left here in the opening quarter And here is Kidd. He has five. Allen inside the three-point line. Carter against Hill. Another shot. Here's Allen. He lays it in with a soft touch. Six points for him. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. The away team, up six. And they're really keying in on getting as many good shots inside the lane as possible. They're doing a nice job of not just settling for outside looks. Yep, I agree. I mean, they're working it inside and doing it with intention and purpose. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. Here's Miller. Barkley is out there with Shaquille O'Neal. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Pippen. And it's Miller in a two-guard. And here comes Peyton. Six-point game. Warning is out there with Garnett. Then there's Carter. Then it's Gary Payton. Here's Shaq, still looking to get on the scoreboard. From 17 feet out, Barkley gets the bucket. Here is Carter, seven point differential. Guarded by Pippen. Garnett inside, soft touch off the glass. You know, for a guy like him, who can light it up like that, that's too easy. Jack with the bucket. Here's Peyton. He's picked up by Pippen. Peyton, that's good. And here's Shaq. They trail by nine points. Hardaway kicks to Pippen. Let's it go from deep. Shot's good. Pippen's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Got a piece of it. Gathers, and Garnett misses. Tell you what, the defense wasn't backing down there because usually he can use his strength to fight through contact. And it's Pippen missing. Warning with it. Here's Carter. Oh! Now, let's check out the Sprite Slam Cam. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That, that is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. Hardaway, defended by Carter. For three, Pippen. And it's Pippen again missing. Now Morning, looking for his first bucket of the game. And Carter with the basket on the assist by Morning. Here's Hardaway. And a chance to go for the two-for-one. 
Well, we'll see if they can do that. Shaq against Morning. Right at the free throw line. A nice shot by Shaq. Shaq's got four points in the quarter. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Peyton kicks to Morning. Barkley on him. Carter for three. Gets it to go. Carter's got ten. Starting to get a little momentum here after that scoreless first quarter. Fires from deep. And the shot is good. And he gets a three of his own. Good answer there. Yeah, and he's not scared to trade shots like that. One second left. This is off the left iron. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. And we'll return momentarily. It's time for HP at the half. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Here's Miller. Gary Payton is out there with Miller. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. Then it's Bark, and it's Hill, and at the three, the small forward. Here's Kidd, six-point lead. We've got Garnett, Allen out there with Jason Kidd. Then there's Morning, and it's Carter in at the three spot. Garnett kicks to Kidd. Out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. Here's Kidd. He's got five. The feed to Carter. There's the dish to Allen. Six to shoot. No good from outside. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Hill out there with Barkley. Then it's Miller. Then it's Gary Payton. And it's Shaq in at the five spot. Here is Kidd. We've got Allen. Garnett out there with Morgan. And there's Carter. And it's Kidd in at the point guard position. He dishes it to Carter. Shoots over Barkley. And it's Carter again missing. Now here is Miller. Four-point game. Well, Vince Carter always had a knack for hitting tough shots. And with his length and that athleticism, you knew he could create space and shoot over the top of defenders. Knocks it loose. Kidd passes to Allen. Morning. Barkley's there. Allen for three. And the basket good. Allen's got nine. And Vince Carter certainly, Steve, could hit some tough shots. The downside, Clark, was, of course, sometimes maybe he settled for, for tough shots. And those tough shots, Kevin, only get tougher as you age. I mean, the years accumulate, you have to get creative. It's just not as easy to fool or bamboozle defenders um, to get easier shots. Some coach told me that the hardest thing in coaching in the Coaching an aging superstar. And I, you know, we're looking here at Vince Carter, and he is in that category right now. One time he was the show in the league. Uh, sometimes your mind says yes, but your body says no if you're that player. Yeah, we call it a crisis of identity. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> right. tough thing to deal with, particularly on the stage of pro sports. The home team take a 20 second timeout. Well, he's had enough of that lackadaisical defense. They've got to help on penetration and deny all of these points in the paint. Here's Hill, still looking to get on the scoreboard. Ijoan backing down. Open and close and nails it. 
And now six of their last ten points from mid-range. Yeah, jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. Peyton against Kidd. Fader on the way. And it's Carter missing. And the fadeaway was about his only option there. Really good defensive position. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Forty seconds left in the third. Here's Elijah one. And Vince Carter pulls it down. He lost his focus there, guys. That's a shot he should make. The three. And it's Carter again missing. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. They get Jason Kidd. That one misses for Elijah on. And they'll slow it down, use a little clock. Good call, partner. Hold it for the final one. It's taken away by Peyton. Stops. Pops. Good work defensively by Carter. Got it up. Got it off in time. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Some nice numbers for Carter. Ten points, and he's picked up two three-pointers to add to his totals. Well, one thing that's great, when you're knocking down that three and you're feeling confident, you want the ball. You want to get more shots from downtown. The away team up by three. fourth let's send it over to Doris Burke for our Sprite Spark. Kevin we've seen the spark in this game come from Vince Carter. He's helped keep them in it over the course of the first three quarters and his job isn't done yet. They'll need him to turn in another solid quarter down the stretch guys. Thank you Doris. Clark he has meant a bunch to this team. Well basically Kevin he's carried them pretty much the whole game. Well they've had three quarters to come up with an answer for him defensively but they haven't been able to figure out anything. Here's Kidd. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. Malone is out there with Hill. Then there's Hardaway. Then it's Richmond. And it's Robinson. In at the five, Roman the paint. That's good for Malone on the assist by Richmond. Here's Kidd. Guarded by Hardaway. Outside kid. And count the basket. He was fouled and he's going to the line for one more. Well, they haven't been getting lit up from outside here. All the points they're giving up are from in close. They've got to offer more resistance. Yeah, defense has to get better, Clark. They've got to body up, bump somebody, get physical, force the action back out to the perimeter. The free throw drops for kid. Kevin, that's what you expect from him. When the pressure's at its highest, with the game on the line, that's when he's at his best. Robinson backs down. He gathers the layup off target. That shot was thrown off by his defense, no doubt about it, Steve. Excellent work there. Yeah, that's about as close as you can come to blocking a shot without actually doing it. Takes it right up. And again, it's Jason Kidd. Kidd's got five points in the quarter. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. The home team call for a 20-second timeout. You got to keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Coach address his team. He told the squad, this is our time. We've got some work cut out for us, but this is the time of the game when I expect you guys to know exactly what needs to be done to win. Let's go out and execute. Thanks again, Doris. Stopped in from outside. 
And here comes Peyton. Fades back. Richmond with the rebound. There's the triple. Cannot hit. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Peyton against Hardaway. Lock at six. Steps back and shoots. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. Not much time now. Yep, they'll need some breaks, Steve, to, to be able to stay alive. You know, even though it's transition, he's got the green light to fire from there if he has a good look at it. Both teams making substitutions here. Here is Carter. Guarded by Pippen. Pippen is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. Here is Carter. A three ball. Malone with the rebound. Well contested shot. And he did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so too. Hill against Kidd. Hill is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. It's the first. That gives him a four-point cushion. from the line and it's a five point ball game well he handled his business at the line and now it's a two possession lead what do you think guys well what they'd like to do is get a quick shot and then go for the foul and then they've got to hope Steve for some missed free throws as well There's 18 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Gets it to go. He's so clutch, Kevin. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Well, not much of a choice there. They pretty much had the foul. Yeah, that's the only option they had to try to get the ball back to even this thing up. Get on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And it's a four-point ball game. Talk about a clutch free throw, Cap. That one just might have sealed the game. The three buries it. And that shot brings them to within just one. As if there was any question, Cap. He's just not phased by the pressure. He stays focused and always makes big plays. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. one and that'll put him up by two two for two and it's a three-point ball game taking full advantage of the charity stripe here stretching that margin to three 
And a chance here to send it into overtime. Need a three. That ties it up. Another three, and we've just seen a barrage from long range here in the second half. Well, they have come out blazing. And defensively, it's hard to deny that shot. I mean, that's a lot of ground to cover when a team spreads you out like they do. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. Well, if you helped great competition and neck-to-neck -neck basketball action, this one has been a great one. Overtime number one, getting going right now. The away team in the tip-off to begin overtime. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here, brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. They've got morning. Carter is out there with Garnett. Then it's Jason Kidd, and it's Allen, and it's the shooting guard. Well, another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, the last five hoops, three have come off wide open three-pointers, Clark. So it's one thing to give up one, but you start getting three-pointers up in bunches, you're in big trouble. And it's Miller picking him up. Some nice passing. Stolen by O'Neal. Fast break. Here we go. Over morning. Shaquille O'Neal again. Here's Kidd. We've got 118 left in overtime. Now Peyton defending. Kidd gets to Carter. Morning with the screen. Carter. Stolen by O'Neal. I really don't like what I'm seeing their last couple of possessions, Kevin. That's two turnovers in a row. Careless turnovers at that. Now they're getting a little casual with the ball. They've got to hit that the bug right now. Came through there with a key basket. Yeah, that was huge. Stepping up when it matters most. making some changes here. Here's Kid. Pass to Carter. From 20 feet out, nails it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And he continues to rack up the numbers. Guys, I tell you what, this is as well-rounded a game as you'll see. Inside. Peyton shot is off. And here is Hill. Over Garnett. It's in! And here comes Kidd. It's going by Hill. 18 feet away. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Two shots. Good on the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. And he can't convert them a second. That misses. The away team call time here and take their last full timeout. Garnett with it. 
time running low here. They need a hoop. Yeah, score quickly and then foul them right away. Now Hill, and now they foul and stop the clock. Gets the first that makes it a three point lead. Perfect from the line, and it's a four point ball game. Huge free throws there, Kevin. He just put this game out of reach. Here's Carter. Off target at the rim. From the length of the floor. And so they get the victory here at home. An impressive victory in overtime after an exciting end in regulation. You know what? In a long game, fatigue can sometimes affect every aspect of play. Um, they didn't look tired at all to me. Well, that'll do it for us. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying so long. And as we end the game, we bring you our Jordan player of the game. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Glad to have you with us. Monday hoops coming up. And now it's game time to call the action. Here are Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll be back with the HP Halftime Report. Hello and welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And Doris Burke will be reporting from the sideline. The starting five for both teams brought to you by State Farm. We've got Waltz. He's thrilled for this one. Everyone will be watching now how he does in his first NBA official game. Then it's Pierce and it's O'Neal in at the power forwards position. We've got Duncan. What a tremendous talent, getting ready for his first NBA appearance. Then there's Marion, and it's Odom in at the power forward. 
Outside Pierce. Shoots a fader. O'Neal misses. Here's Iverson. Well, Jermaine O'Neal only played in 26 regular season games for the Celtics last year, and it makes you wonder, you know, how much does he have left because he certainly has had some knee trouble recently. And here's Pierce. My post shot. No good off the back of the rim. Clark, you know, you mentioned J.O. He can still contribute, but he has to remain healthy, which, uh, you know, Steve, has been a problem for him. What, 15 years in the league, and it's taken its toll on Jermaine O'Neal, but we did see him after missing most of this, the regular season for Boston last year. We saw him be a major force in that New York series in the first round for the Celtics. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. The thing that jumps out at him the most about their opponent today is the team speed they possess. He said, we've got to hustle back on defense every time down the floor. This is a team that loves to run, and we've got to be prepared to do the same. Gentlemen? Thank you, Doris. Here's Marion, and there's the rejection. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Iverson. Here's the three. And that's collected by Davis. Pierce with it. Straight up. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's good defense. Don't let a guy get a lay in. Foul hard and send him to the free throw line. Yeah, I like that billboard there. Sending a message. You can't come in here and get anything free in our paint. The first one falls. And so he makes both from the line. And here's Boozer. Takes a three. And Pierce pulls it down. Steps back and shoots. Again, Pierce missing. Now here's Boozer. Here's Duncan. And Elton Brand pulls it down. Davis with it. Jefferson picks him up. Finley up top. Iverson covering. Inside leader. Boozer with the defensive effort. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. What a steal. That's some excellent defense right there. Down goes the slam. Well, I think he's one of the most entertaining offensive players in the league, and I just can't help but saying it that way. I mean, he is. You'll get no argument here, Clark. Now you guys are both right. I mean, he, he gives them such a reliable option at that end of the court. That wasn't an easy call, but I think it was the right one. Looked like he got hit on the way up. Yes, sir. Clearly gets him while he's releasing the ball there, Steve. No doubt about it. And that one misses. So both teams making some changes here. That one misses. Now, Marin. Now, Finley. Wade picks him up. Booz is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Second two Finley. Two shots. First free throw is good. He hits both from the stripe. Each trip down becoming more important. Yeah, they need to string some successful offensive possessions together and then tighten down defensively. 
Free throw line jump shot. Hits the front of the rim and out. He'll usually knock that shot down. He sure will, but that's one he couldn't pass up. And so the first quarter is in the books. The away team, they lead by seven. And the difference to this point has been defense. You know, this club has really gotten after it, and that's what's gotten it. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Here's Iverson. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burt. Doris, what do you have? Well, guys, when Jermaine O'Neal was 19, his life was saved by a stranger. He was driving, another car slammed into his, sending it flipping over a ditch. As his car caught fire, O'Neal realized that he was trapped. Suddenly, someone pulled him to safety, and to this day, he hasn't been able to find out who that was. O'Neal said the experience motivated him. This whole life, this whole 15 years has a purpose. When you go through things like that, when you're facing death, you realize God does have a plan. All the things that seemed important aren't as important anymore. More than anything, I have a purpose in life. That's something I really value and cherish. An incredible story, guys. It certainly is. Thank you, Doris. a new lease on life and he's made the most of it Miller dishes to O'Neal nifty move and he zips to the basket and lays it in the defense left him just a little window to get through and he just ducked in for the layup terrific job shot from free throw range lands off on the front of the rim and drops 152 left here in the second. The away team will take their first timeout. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. Several teams changing it up here. Here is Brand, looking for his first bucket of the game. Brand, a screen on Oda. And there's the defensive three-second call. And the technical free throw, missing that time. They'll retain possession here, however. Well, I tell you what, when I think about Andre Miller, it's... Uh... His durability that jumps out at you. I mean, he, he had been the reigning active consecutive games played leader at 632 until that record was broken last year. Shot clock at six. Post shot. And Pierce finishes inside. You know, more on Miller Clark in that consecutive game played streak. I know NFL players take great pride in how many games they play in a row. I mean, Really take great pride in that. You don't think that really is part of the way they look at things, but they do. Now, back to Miller, he didn't miss due to injury. Instead, he saw his streak snap because of a one-game suspension, Steve, for a flagrant foul. It almost doesn't seem fair, does it, for a, a, a streak like that to end due to a suspension. Really a shame. And you're right, Kevin. Uh, Miller, like most players, takes great pride in a streak like that and his longevity and his ability to, to bring it every single night. 55 seconds left in the second quarter. This is it to Miller. 
And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. Here's Davis. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Kicks to Pierce. Six on the shot clock. Over Anthony. The offensive rebound. Goes up. Nice shot by Wallace. And that rebound pushes their margin to plus five on the boards. Solid job on the glass. Well, it's just part of what they've done here to build this big lead. And it shouldn't be overlooked. I mean, rebounding is a huge part of this game. Here's the pass to Wallace. He passes to O'Neal. Lots of room. That one falls short. Here's Odom. Here's Wade. Got him with the bump fake, but couldn't finish. Let's go. Davis. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so we conclude the first half. Don't go away. Back in just a moment. And happy Monday to you. Here's your HP halftime report. The away team scorching hot in the first half. They're putting on a clinic on the defensive end of the floor. Effort, execution, something to enjoy. A good start for Paul Pierce. After two, he's got six points. Also added a couple of rebounds. And for the home club, it's been all hustle. Excellent bench production. The second string coming in, knocking down the shots. Their top scorer, Carmelo Anthony. Also been getting some great help from LeBron. And that's it for now. Let's head on back out to the third quarter. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. They trail by 11. Marburg covered by Miller. That's good. Here's Miller. Miller right side. Finley. Here's against Iverson. Shot is blocked. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here is Miller. Just four to shoot. And Pierce backs in over Marion. And that one's good by Pierce. Pierce has got eight. We see very few mistakes from him at that end of the floor. Mark, they're looking now at a sizable deficit. Yeah, you know, they've got a lot of work ahead of them, but no reason to give up hope right now. No, the game's still out there for them, but they've got to get back to their game plan and start to grind out each possession. Shoots a three. Another miss by O'Neal. Boy, the defense just backing off, begging him to take that shot. Boy, I tell you, Tim Duncan, Kevin, just a technician on that low block. Efficient and effortless. Man, he's got an array of... And slam down hard. Another look on the Sprite Slam Cam. Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the sundae on that one. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> the three gets it to go. Marion's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Miller. There's 126 left in the third quarter of the game. The away team will take a timeout. Both teams deciding to change it out.
124 left in the third quarter. Finley up top. Wade is covering. Finley can't get it to go. And they're struggling a little bit on the glass. They've got to pick up their physical play in the paint. Yeah, it's about being tougher and, and more physical, just as you said, Steve. If they can do that better, uh, they've got a chance to come back. The shot by Marion, no good. And here's Duncan looking for his first bucket of the game. Oh, that's blocked. Now here is Davis. Eight-point game. Gathers. He gets a hand on it. But they'll get another chance. The shot by Marion, no good. Tell you what, the defender made a nice recovery there. It looked like he was beaten, but he still managed to challenge the shot. Wasted no time on that one. That's a tough matchup, and yet he found a way to get off that shot. Impressive. You know what, guys? I mean, those are really the kind of challenges he loves. I mean, he's that kind of competitor. Davis kicks to Finley. Lock at six. Wade picks him up. And Finley gets it to go. He's got 11. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean, we haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. Wade, right side. Open and close and nails it. Wade's got four this quarter. Got it up. It'll count. No good. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. And we'll be back in just a moment. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Kevin, for the job this road team has done, they get our Sprite Spark Award. That strong start got them going, and they haven't taken their foot off the accelerator. They've played fantastic ball to put them out in front going into the fourth. All right, Doris, thank you. That run was a critical stretch, Clark, of the game. It sure was. I mean, once the pilot light was lit, they didn't let up. <laughs> Well, offensively, it all came together for them, Clark, and really allowed them to kind of take control of the game at that point. Finley can't get it to go. Odom with it. He's picked up by Brand. The shot by Odom, no good. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. Outside, Davis. Tipped away. Tried to thread the needle there. It wasn't there. Even numbers. Marion dishes to Brand. Nice movement. Here's Finley. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Tim Duncan picks one up. And the first one drops. You know, most good coaches will always tell you the first priority should be to get the ball inside and draw some foul, especially when you've got the lead. Well, it's one thing if you're just knocking down jump shots, but when you start missing, it's important, Clark. You've got to get the ball inside. I agree. The three from Anthony. Sean Marion grabs the miss. Marion's got three rebounds so far in the game. Leans inside. Eight-point game. This one for three. Good. Well, I think it takes a lot of guts to shoot the three on the fast break with the guy closing out on you. Well, some missed opportunities offensively, and this is a good timeout. Let these guys get a blow, take a breather, get their legs back under them, and then refocus. Tim Duncan. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey guys, over that last break, I listened to Coach address his team. He wants to make sure they stay assertive and aggressive on the offensive end, saying, I don't want to sit on this lead. 
let's build on it and not give them a chance of coming back. Guys? And thank you for that, Doris. Here's LeBron. A three ball. Good. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked bad. And everything's falling from the three-point line here in the second half. And guys, you know, one fed into the other. I mean, now they're shooting with great confidence, and they're on a roll. Williams against Iverson. Iverson against Williams. Davis. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And look at how he posed on the rim for a few seconds after that one. That's never going to endear you to your opponents. They don't like that kind of stuff. No, he was enjoying that one so much he didn't want to let go. Yeah, just a little reminder of whose rim it is. Up with it. Rebounded by Odom. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The three from Anthony. Goes back up. The shot by Odom, no good. That's an easy shot. Got there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Williams against Iverson. Iverson against Williams. Six to shoot. He's picked up by LeBron. That's good. Good job there, Kevin. Getting himself a little space on the inside. Amari Stoudemire He's checked in for Lamar Odom. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter Iverson gets the bucket. Here's Finley. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Now they're just trying to stretch this game out. So good foul there. Stop the clock. Yeah, good solid foul because with the scoring time as it is, that's really their only option. They didn't have much choice but to foul. Unfortunately, this is the last guy you want to send to the free throw line. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they stopped the clock, but these free throws are pretty much automatic. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And he can't convert on the second. That misses. Now Stoudemire. Jefferson, that's for two. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Kevin, that's what you expect from him. When the pressure's at its highest, with the game on the line, that's when he's at his best. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Sinks the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And his second attempt at the line, no good. And so they foul intentionally. that time either here's Iverson tipped 
And here's LeBron outside. It falls! And that shot brings them to within just one. The visiting club takes the win on the road. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.